I'm gonna try to keep this video very short. So essentially I had court today. I'm going through family court and child support court. And essentially my daughter's mom is going to feign incarceration in order to help her negotiate a custody agreement with me. Let me give you some background. My daughter has lived with me for the past three to four years. I've paid for everything for my daughter at all times, all the time. Now, I'm also on the PTA. I've also been class dad. I'm also at all of our field days. I have videos, pictures, receipts, everything, evidence to prove this. Let me tell you how fucked up court is. Court can look at all that and write it off as a gift. Your love, taking care of her, paying for everything, buying her everything she needs is a gift. Because court is about what's enforceable, not what's ethical or moral, right? So court doesn't care about who's right or wrong. Court cares about whether they can prove that you broke a law in their eyes. Even if the law is not good or not right, you know. My daughter's mom basically said to me, and I, I'm not kidding about this, as long as you pay me X amount of money for child support, you can have custody of your daughter. She doesn't care about our daughter. As long as I give her money, I can have custody. Does that sound crazy to anyone else? Does it sound crazy to any, like besides me? Doesn't that sound why? You know, I'm not understanding what it is that he's saying. Well, my first thought is you should have chose better. My second thought when I originally saw this was, I bet he's not. Because you know what? We see black men and we automatically tether our image to theirs. But a lot of these men who come up, like there was that basketball player that was talking about baby mamas and all this other stuff. And he was making it seem as if he was talking about black women. But most of his baby mamas were non-black. He preferred preferences. So they're up here complaining and they drag black women and people associate black women with their complaints. But the woman that they're talking about is whom? So what it sounds like is he doesn't have custody. It sounds like he is, quote unquote, taking care of his daughter, but the woman has custody. And so she's wanting him to pay child support to her while he is claiming that he's taking care of the child. And one thing that I want you all to remember is people lie. People lie to you. They lie to me. And most egregiously, they lie to themselves. And not everything that somebody says is the truth. Like when these people are calling up on my line and they're talking to me, you all are assuming that everything that they're saying is the truth. When a man is telling you why he broke up with his ex, you're assuming that everything that they're telling you is the truth. This is why you have to ask questions and you have to be unrelenting with your questions. And sometimes you have to come back a little while later and ask the question again and see whether or not the answer has changed. Because <laughs> listen, when you don't lie, you don't have to have a good memory. But you know, like I know. What? The fact that she can get away with saying this in a court of law and nothing happens is unbelievable to me. Something needs to change. The law needs to change and we need to fight for that. There are plenty of men like me who want to take care of their children, who are in their children's lives deeply, love their children, deal with the bullshit from the world, the stress of the world, the stress of the mom not being a mom, and then have to be mom and dad, and then have to do their daughter's hair because the mom won't do it and says it's because she's white. That's what I deal with. She won't do the hair. Why? What's the reason that he says that the woman won't do the hair? Did you hear it? So he's up here talking about women are trash, calling her 304 and all this other stuff. But she won't do the hair because what? What's the reason? And then have to do their daughter's hair because the mom won't do it and says it's because she's white. That's what I deal with. I can't do her hair. She's white. I'm black. What you talking about? I, I looked on YouTube and practiced and practiced and got better and boom, now her hair gets done. So it's crazy the fact that these women, especially white women, have all of these securities and all these pockets and all these rules and all these laws that benefit them. But me. Oh, wait a minute. Weren't we just talking about this? A few kernels left and I'm saving them for this broadcast. I had to here. build my shit up out the fucking mud. <laughs> out the mud to be able to take care of the shit I take care of right now. To drive the shit I'm driving right now. I gotta build this shit the fuck up. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? You should have chose better. We talked about the three main tenets of abuse. Power imbalance. Money imbalance. Racial imbalance. Those are the three tenets right there. He didn't realize that a white woman had more social power than him. That's part of the reason that he probably got with her because he wanted the white man's daughter. Oh, Listen.
He wanted the white man's daughter to come in and make what? His DNA better? What? He got with a woman that is not even interested in doing the hair. And how many of you out there know non-black women who are just not interested, no matter how preferency the hair is to us, and probably to him too, right? Because we talked about how when you see all of these father-daughter videos of the father doing the daughter hair, one out of 300 will be a black daughter with 4C hair. Other than that, it's all of these men happy to be with a daughter with shiny hair, shining in the light that has the preferences here. That's when they come out and they're so happy and so proud to be with their daughters. Dancing, do, 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 in little TikTok videos. But yeah, well, this is who he chose, right? It don't matter because nobody cares. Because mm, you're a man, especially a black man. Who the f cares? I don't want to hear your sh mm. So I just keep it moving and keep going. But I'm never going to stop fighting. So I'm just letting y'all know. Mm. Be careful who the f you have a kid with. Love your kid no matter f what. Mm. But the law, the rules, America, it is not in your f***ing favor. The court system is f***ing rigged. All they want is money because all they get paid from is child support. Period. <laughs> He's telling lies. Men actually have an advantage when they go into court, especially black men, because there's so few of them. Short. But a black man going up against a white woman in court, I don't know about that, but I know men in general, when they go to court, they get preferential treatment because the system was built by men. But him now going up against a white woman in court, men are no, I don't know about that. Most men who are talking about all of the things that they do for their children, they're lying. So many of us are so used to just taking anybody that we see in a broadcast and taking it at face value that we don't even weed through what is fact and fiction. How many times have you spoken to a man about what the situation is with him and his ex, him and the child's mother, him and what the situation is, and they're talking about, oh, I gave her money to pay this, that, and the other, but she never paid that. But then when you start digging in a little deeper, those are lies. Those are fabrications to make him seem a certain way. So you have to look and see a person and see. You calling women trash and a waste and a 304, that's the 304 you put your penis in. And I'm sure you put it in there more than once. <laughs> because the things that you valued about her were apparently not good character. You should have chosen better. What was the criteria you used when you were choosing? Or was it just that she had white skin? And you know what? I took a gander at his social media pages. And you could tell from his continence that he just, he wasn't going to be with a black woman. You could tell. So more power to you, brother. <laughs> Listen, all I can say, pink oil moisture. I, I, look, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Because he's saying something. He's talking about the car he drives and he does this and it does that and the other. All he does, he work hard and all this other stuff. Petition the court for custody. He says she's going to feign incarceration. What type of woman did you get with? Now you would, she's a jailbird too? You heard him, that was the first thing that he said out of his mouth. Hold on, let's look. So essentially I had court today. I'm going through family court and child support court. And essentially my daughter's mom is going to feign incarceration. Who you done got with? How many of you from the 80s remember that show, Dangerous Women, and they had Sissy and all the girls that were in that prison and all that other stuff? So you done got yourself with a dangerous woman? You better be careful out there, my boy, because if you know like I know, huh, these women are arming themselves, slicing you up with a ginsu, and then when the police come, they bring in them Burger King and thinking, oh, you know what, I ain't going to go too far. Nonetheless, listen, say it with me. You know what I'm going to end this segment on? You should have what? Say it with me now. You should have chose better. Five finger slap. I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> you know what? I feel like getting up and doing the you should have chose better dance. Here. Here. Let me let me let me do the let me do the you should have chose better dance. Here. Come on. You should have chose better. Better, huh? 
vet these women, but they don't care because all they got to do is show up and be white. That's it. Choose better, but they don't care about none of that. Let's go on. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's go on. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.